Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Sergio Reguilon. In the last 24 hours there's been a big breakthrough in the Sergio Reguilon news to Manchester United and something that we can maybe start to get a little bit excited about or get some confidence that still might happen. Now there's been a lot of news stories on Sergio Reguilon to Manchester United and a lot that I thought was recycled news, paper fillers, maybe made up news and stuff but in the last 24 hours some you know positive news about Sergio Reguilon to Manchester United's move has come out. Now we had sources like Marker and AS saying the deal was really close to being done, Manchester United and Real Madrid close to agreeing on a fee and stuff but I kind of chose to brush that off because it's not always the most reliable source. I don't really like do short videos reporting on news unless someone like Fabrizio Romano or Christian Folk or even like Simon Stone has just said something that I is just exciting, it's a bit of a breakthrough. And while Fabrizio Romano has tweeted about the Reguilon to Manchester United situation and looks generally positive for Manchester United, now this video does not mean that Reguilon is coming to Manchester United, this, this video does not mean the deal is done, but this video means there is a bit of a breakthrough, we can maybe get excited. Basically, it's kind of like the Sancho situation. When Fabrizio Romano tweeted about Sancho, we knew that the player really wanted to come to Manchester United. Agent fees was not a problem. Everything was sort of done in that respect. It was just between Manchester United and the club agreeing a fee. And it's kind of a similar situation for Reguilon. It seems that Reguilon really wants to join Manchester United. It seems, you know, personal terms, agent fees will not be a problem. It's all about Manchester United and Real Madrid agreeing a fee. So I'm going to talk about exactly what Fabrizio Romano said and all the latest regarding Reguilon to Manchester United and the latest news on that, doing a quick, short, little transfer update video. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video, and let's get into it. So Fabrizio Romano tweeted this literally like half an hour ago. Reguilon deal. Manchester United are considering a move by the days, but won't pay 30 million euro price tag. Real Madrid are also asking for a buyback clause. Personal terms, not an issue. Reguilon wants to join. Opening bid to be submitted soon. Sevilla out the race. So he's basically saying kind of what we sort of already knew. I had reported in earlier videos that, you know, Manchester United were not going to spend 30 million euros on the left back and that we did not want him if Romjib were going to insert a buyback clause. So he's confirming what we knew. He also has said that, you know, personal terms will not be an issue. It's not his wages or anything. All that can be sorted. He's basically saying that's not going to be an issue. He says that Reguilon really wants to join Manchester United. So the reports saying that Reguilon doesn't want to leave Spain are untrue. He's saying Reguilon really wants to join Manchester United. Personal terms will not be an issue. And he says that he expects Manchester United to make a bid soon. So if Romjib had set that bid, basically Reguilon's a Manchester United player because you know, the personal terms won't be an issue, he wants to join. However, will Real Madrid accept that bid? You know, the negotiation process over buying a player with Manchester United is quite slow. We can submit a bid and Real Madrid are like, well, buy back clause. We can submit a bid and Real Madrid are like, no, you've got, you've got to submit more. So it could be a bit of a negotiation process, but I think Real Madrid are the type of club that like, they don't really need them. They've got Furlan Mendy, they've got Marcelo. You know, they, 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 if they don't sell them to United, he's just going to go out on loan. So maybe they'll accept a 20 million euro bid with no buyback clause. So I think it is quite exciting with the Reguilon news because I think, you know, we are going to submit a bid and I think Real Madrid are in a position where like, they might as well just sell him because they're not going to use him, you no, know, ship him out on loan again. So, you know, when we submit a bid, it, it, you know, they could upset, but who really knows it? The thing with this is, it's confident news, it's positive news, but it is Manchester United. So this could take weeks to do. This could even be, this could never happen, you know, with the Sancho situation, agreed these, personal terms agreed, players been wanting to come and it's been like four weeks, five weeks since then and nothing's happened, although Sancho is a lot more expensive than Reguilon. But what Fabrizio Romano has basically said is that we can be somewhat positive in the sense that, you know, he wants to join Manchester United, personal terms won't be a problem, it's Manchester United and Real Madrid that have got to agree on a fee and it does look like Manchester United are entering negotiations with Real Madrid as Fabrizio Romano said, so we'll have to see what that turns out. He also came out and said, Manchester United are confident they will find an agreement with Sergio Reguilon in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks, okay. Classic Manchester United, we can't get this deal done in a week, in the next few weeks. But Manchester United are confident they can find a deal and an agreement with Sergio Reguilon. So Manchester United are confident that they're going to sign Sergio Reguilon. Fabrizio Romano has said that Manchester United are confident they're going to sign Sergio Reguilon. They're about to submit a bid and personal terms won't be a problem. So I think that's a really positive breakthrough in the Sergio Reguilon to Manchester United news. Um, for Richard Romano, as I've said, is a tier one journalist. He literally says facts. Like, nothing's done now, you know, no, like, nothing's done as of now. 
but like is really positive indications that something could be done from Fabrizio Romano saying that we're confident we're going to get it done personal terms isn't a problem the player really wants to come it's just can we get Real Madrid to lower their price and because Real Madrid don't need him and you know their only options are loaning him out they might be like we don't want to loan him out let's cash in on 20 million euros for Aguilon and if we pay 20 million euros for Aguilon where Ben Chilwell was 50 million quid what a load of business. That is the business I want Manchester United to do. Van der Beek, £35 million pounds instead of Greenish for 80. You know, Regilon, €20 million Euros instead of um, Ben Chilwell for 50. That is the kind of business I want Manchester United to do. I also really want us to get Sancho, but I think Regilon would be a really good player because he's an attacking fullback. And that means we can ship Brandon Williams to the right and he can be back up for Aaron Wan-Bissaka, whereas Regilon can be back up for Luke Shaw. And it just gives us a diversity of options. Now, let me know your thoughts on the Regilon to Manchester United news in the comment section down below. Would you like to see Sergio Regilon at Manchester United? Because I'd really like to see him. Would you like me to do a video talking about what kind of player Regilon is, how he'd fit in? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on the news. And if you want Regilon to be a Manchester United player, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video with friends, and I'll probably do a second video tonight. So see you then.